Hi, I'm Amy, and I want to share some information with you that can help you in any elements of manifesting. So when I say elements, I mean the major components of manifesting, which is your desire, having clarity of your desire, uh, your beliefs, which will be what allows it to manifest, um, and also your resistance, dropping your resistance, which is basically contradictory beliefs. And then, you know, basically that's allowing, and then the receiving component. So I want to talk about the I can't statements that come up. So as you research manifesting and you see all these different ideas and techniques out there, um, if you have not already learned how to deliberately do one of these things, your mind may pop up and say, well, I, I can't do that. I can't let go. I can't let it be. I can't detach. I can't get clear about my desire. I can't move past this resistance. I can't get unstuck. I can't, I can't, I can't. Now, this is um, a common thing that happens with people's minds when they experience new information and people are saying like, do this and do that and then you'll get what you want. And if, even if they're explaining how to do it, if your mind is like not sure how to do it, it will often throw up the idea, throw up the idea. It will often put up the idea, I can't do this. So one easy way to start shifting that is to simply acknowledge that you are thinking I can't do something and then say, but you know, maybe I could learn. Because this is deliberate manifesting, this is deliberate creation, deliberate receiving, deliberate allowing. Deliberate means it's a pro, it's like you can do something that's natural on purpose. You're already naturally doing it. But if you don't know how you're naturally doing it, then you can learn how to deliberately do it. So what you want to do to sort of soothe your mind whenever you run into one of these processes or elements that say, I can't let go, I can't stop thinking about it, I can't figure out how to get into alignment. Simply allow the thought to be there. I can't. Okay, great. What if I could learn? What if, what if there's information out there, a solution, an answer, somebody who can explain it to me? What if I have the capacity to actually learn how to deliberately do this? And it's not that big of a deal that I haven't learned yet. And maybe Maybe I'm just making a really big deal out of it that I don't know how to do something because I think I should already know how to do it. But really, truly, who says you should already know how to do it? Did anybody teach you? I don't remember anybody teaching me how to do this stuff when I was in school or when I was little. I don't remember that. I remember people teaching me how to restrain my emotions, how to be quiet when I wanted to make noise, um, how to do things that actually created more resistance in me. And again, there's no judgment towards, you know, anybody for doing that because everyone's just passing along this information to fit in. So let go of the idea by acknowledging the idea. Um, maybe I think I should know how to do all these things. And the truth is I don't know how to do all of them and it's okay. Did I learn? Did someone teach me? Did I actually go through the process of of finding out how it works and applying it and experimenting with it and seeing it actually play out in my life? No, maybe I didn't. So sometimes we think, you know, when we hear these ideas like you should detach and let go and you should raise your vibration and be happy and you should, you know, stand on your head and do all this stuff. It's like, yeah, but how do I do it? And then we can freak out a little bit because it's like, oh my God, does everybody know how to do this but me? Is it like, is there some like, trick to it? Do I already know? Why can't I do it? And then you kind of like go in the, for lack of a better word, the wrong direction, thinking you should know how to do something that you've never learned how to do. So I always step back whenever I hear I can't in my head, I can't, I can't, and just be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, is that true? Like, do I know how to do it? And, and I actually can't do it. So I know how and I can't. Or is it true that I don't actually know how to do it? And if I don't know how to do it, but people are telling me to do it, then that must mean there is a way to do it. Gee, I could learn how to do it. So again, I'm just sort of repeating myself because I want you to, to think about this. If there's some element in manifesting you're struggling with, ask yourself right now, have you actually learned how to do this step? And if you haven't, you can relax because it's like you can stop 
feeding it into your head that you can't do it and just say, it's not that I can't do it, it's I don't know how to do it. And I'm gonna ask the universe for step-by-step instructions that will make sense to me, me. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. It will make sense to me, specific to me, on how to do this. I am going to learn because I can learn how to deliberately do this process. Um, so I always say to specifically ask the universe for information for yourself because sometimes, you know, like I've looked up information before and I'll look at like 30, 40 different sources and, and it's like contradictory and doesn't make sense and I'm like trying to apply it and, you know, because I like to apply all these different methods to see how they all work. And then I'll see someone wrote something like in one sentence and I'm like, oh, oh, I get it now. I get it because it makes sense to me. So there's always a way that it will make sense to you. And you may not know where that information is, but the universe does. So ask the universe, ask your higher self, God, again, fairies, leprechauns, angels, whatever you have out there that you believe in. I would love to learn how to detach. I would love to learn how to let go. I would love to learn how to get clear about my desire because I know it's possible. And just because I can't do it right now doesn't mean that I'm never gonna be able to do it. It just means I don't know how and I haven't learned yet. So I would love to learn. And if you kind of like loosen up a little bit with it and not make it so heavy within your system, the universe will be able to bring you the information in a very short amount of time. I mean, usually, usually when I ask for information, I get it within like two to three days tops. Um, and if it does take longer, then that's usually because I was maybe not asking for the right piece of information and a different piece of information will pop up that kind of explains it for me. So ask the universe, you're not alone for help. I would love to learn how to dot, 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 you know, move past this, how to change my beliefs, how to do that. And then the universe will start to give you that information. Now I know you're thinking, but Amy, that's why we're watching your videos. I know, but I want to, I want to give you more ways to think about how to stop feeling stuck all the time. And one, one thing manifestors do to keep themselves feeling stuck without meaning to is to just constantly listen to that voice that says, I can't do this step. Okay, you can't. Great. Why? You didn't learn. Oh, we'll just go learn. That's it. It's that simple. It kind of releases a lot of pressure off you to think like you already know and you have to like find it in your head or in your system or in your past or in your memories. It's not there. Like you may just not know how. Like there's lots of things I don't know how to do and I'm not going to run out there and beat myself up over it because like I don't know how to do it. Like I can't sing. I'm not going to be like, oh, there's something wrong with me because I can't sing. If I really wanted to, I could go learn. Does this make sense? Okay. So I hope this helps. Happy manifesting. And again, it's just kind of like more to help you wherever you might feel like you can't do something. Have a very wonderful day. Happy manifesting.